Uh, I tell you what, today was kind of the tweener day after a uh, rough start, a rough commute. Look at this little puppy at Gold Hello. Medal Park. And look at this the eagle. eagle. Yeah. Hopefully not watching that dog, <laughs> just doing a little flyby there along the river. But uh, yeah, a peaceful day for the most part. And we knew the drive home would be much better than the drive in because we weren't dealing with the rain, the freezing rain, and the snow like what we had overnight. So it's still very mild out there, very comfortable, 33 degrees. Our next weather tower is shining blue because it will be cooler, but certainly not cold. I don't see a cold day at least for the next solid week. Now, as we get to the end of the month, the models are hinting at a big cool down. We'll talk more about that because we have a couple of issues to deal with before then. Here's what's left of yesterday's storm that brought the primarily rain and some snow as well. Just a few flurries now falling across parts of western Wisconsin. We had a few breaks in the clouds, but another storm system is coming our way. Now, what's next for your next couple of drives? Tomorrow morning, no problems. Everything should be fine. No problems coming home. Both commutes look great tomorrow. Thursday morning, not so much. That's going to be rough because the storm system arrives later tomorrow night and doesn't wrap up till probably about lunchtime on Thursday. So tomorrow morning, we'll have the clouds. It will be very mild, and it stays mild for the drive home. The roads should be in great shape. No issues. Here's the issue that will be coming our way. A low-pressure center that's going to slide up across Iowa, eventually into the Great Lakes. Now, the cooler side, the north side, look at the winter storm warning that does extend into parts of Minnesota. We have a winter storm watch that does extend into parts of the metro. We will likely see this area become a warning. I'm quite certain the Twin Cities will be in a winter weather advisory before this hits. The bottom line is we want you to be prepared for what's next. And what's coming next is some snow. At least it looks to be all snow this time. Here we go. By tomorrow evening, we start to see the snow hitting southern Minnesota. So if you have plans, even tomorrow evening, you should be fine. It's tomorrow night, heading into Thursday, where things get rough because we'll see some very heavy bands that could crank out an inch or two per hour. That's why we'll see some very high snow uh, totals coming down toward the southeast. And we could get clipped with a band or two that could crank out some higher snow rates as it continues. Driving into work on Thursday, yes, I do believe it's snowing, but it's already starting to taper off. It's now the wraparound precipitation that will thin as we head through the day on Thursday. But the damage will be done as far as the roads are concerned. Here's how much snow we're talking about. Easily 6 to 10 inches across southeastern Minnesota. I still put us in the 3 to 5 inch range here in the metro with less to the north and more to the southeast. Here's a sampling of several models that are pretty consistent, keeping us in the uprights for 3 to 5 with one little spike here showing it could happen. I don't think it will here in the metro, though. 31 tomorrow, calm by day, snow by night. That's why we have the next weather alert. We'll also have a next drive alert for Thursday morning because it's going to be a long commute. We've certainly had plenty of experience with that so far this winter. Things do settle down. If you're going to go check out those snow sculptures in Stillwater or whatever you have planned this weekend, Get out and enjoy the uh, the new snow. It'll be very comfortable yeah. with temperatures a few degrees above average. And a little pick of sunshine, it looks like. There. One. Just one. <laughs> Don't hog it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you.